Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kimchi. Um, today's video is gonna be pretty different. Um, I wanted to make this video to let you guys know what's going on um, with my mental health situation and I tried a lot of times to actually shoot the video but it was kind of hard for me um, and it just kept getting harder and harder to shoot it um, but the thing is I'm just gonna shoot raw because just so I can be open with you guys about my situation and just let you guys know who I am uh, I'm a little bit nervous not gonna lie um, <sighs> The only way I feel like I can really be 100% honest with you guys is just just be real, dude. <laughs> just, just be honest, just be real. And I hate to show you guys this side because, you know, you guys always see like, yo, uh, I'm kimchi, uh. You always see those sides. And like showing you this side. It, it sure is uh, pretty weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, about my mental health. I want to be open with you guys. So I'll tell you what I am diagnosed with. So I'm diagnosed with bipolar and currently right now I'm in my manic stage, my mania stage. Um, I've hit my low and this time or this low has been probably one of my worst it seems like I just can't get out of it you know uh, I don't know if it's like because I stopped taking the medication I stopped taking the medication about like a couple weeks ago it, I, I stopped I like did I totally cold turkey it because I thought I was fine like my levels, my my mood were leveled out, but I guess not. Or maybe even, or maybe pandemic has to do with it. I don't know. But this is how I really feel, man. I don't know what to say to you guys. I honestly don't. But I do want to open up and just just talk to you guys. You know, I just want to talk to you guys. So, you know, it's like a routine. Like, I know there's, I'm not sure if how many of you guys are here that's been here for a long time. You guys know, like, there's a routine on my channel. It's like, oh, I get a lot of uploads. I 
I watch a lot of things. And then I stop and I take a break. And I do that again and again. And I know you guys always worried about my mental health and make sure that I didn't get any burnouts or anything. You know, at first I was like, is it really a burnout? Cause dude, I love my job, man. I've been dreaming of being an entertainer, dude. Like even if my my content's reaction or you know, it's a reaction channel, dude. I'm proud of it, man. Like we do our best to, you know, just make the fun videos for you guys, dude. I enjoy it, you guys enjoy it. It's, you know, it's a win win, right? So, oh yeah, so, you know, we, hold on, I'm just going to wrap my, my thoughts around this. that sometimes I just forget every time actually I always forget what I'm talking about Ugh. but I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, man, just my head's just not in the right place, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on, um, oh yeah, so I was talking about my past, like, my channel going up and down, right, okay, I remember now my channel going up and down and so it kept happening and we decided so I was like man what's going on with me maybe I should seek help and that's you know that's when I, I made the video about my mental issue and all that stuff so you know, I went to go get checked That's when I first found out that I was diagnosed with bio bipolar. That's when they told me I was bipolar. But at first, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really believe it. I'm just like, because uh, like the whole meeting with the psychiatrist was like, you know, he was just, I, I just thought he just said you're bipolar. So I went to another psychiatrist and he said the same thing. Um, and then my doctor, she said the same thing. So, so all right, so I accepted that I, I do have a mental issue. And it was a little bit easier for me because, you know, once you accept that, like, oh, okay, you know, I guess it is uh, a mental issue I have. But sometimes when you're like depressed or feeling like this or you have a mental issue, it kind of feels like that's part of you, you know? It's like, it's like your identity, you know? But it's, I guess it's like how you cope with it. You know, I know that even if I am bipolar or, you know, I have this um, mental health 
issue. Well, I guess there's perks in it. There's perks, right? <laughs> when I'm high, I, I get to feel good. And then when I'm low, you always get both ends. I don't know if I'm dragging this video so long. <coughs> Damn, this is pretty. <sighs> you know what? For me, I don't I don't care. Screw it, dude. I don't care. This is me. If you think I'm weird, that's fine. It's all right. It's cool, man. It feels good to just to just be me, man. Just to be honest and just talk to you guys. Because it's weird, right? We're all like online friends. Never met each other. I wonder if, you know, it, it built some kind of connection. Somehow feel connected, I guess. It's so weird how it's like your job is so much online and connected then you just feel so disconnected at the same time. I know it's a lot of you guys. Oh, you know, I, I don't even, I don't, I hope not. I hope not. But what I was going to say is, like, I know the pandemic's happening, and it must be hard for a lot of you guys that are going through um, this rough time through the pandemic. You know, it's lonely. We're not used to doing the things we're used to do. You don't know what's going on. Work's not coming back up. Man. I'm sorry you guys going through that. If there's any of you guys that are going through that, man. You know, I guess it's sometime it's good to know like you're not alone. If, if there's anyone out there that that feels like me, you're not alone.
man, but this does feel really good deep down inside. Like it feels like good, dude. any of you guys are still listening right now. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Or girl. Yeah. But I just I just say man, so just thank you everyone. I feel this, these invisible hugs. It's like, bam, I got this, I got this. I got this. Isn't it crazy how when you're so depressed, it's like the colors don't even look the same. You know, sounds are muffled. Things sound differently. You don't, you know, feel hungry. It's all in the perspective, but it's so hard. I don't know why, man. It's just so hard. It's like, hey, snap out of it. You know, just freaking snap out of it. You've been reading books, videos. You know, they tell you, or they show you how to do it. Exercise, meditate, eat healthy. I get it. I get all that. I know it works. It's just hard to take that first step. But you know, that's all it takes though, man. One step at a time, right? That's all it takes. Just, just take your first step. Your first step could be something small. You don't, you don't have to bench 500 pounds. You just start by walking. You know, and I'm sure one will lead to another, to another, to another. I'm not here to make you guys depressed too, man. Freaks, I really hope I'm not doing that. Like, damn it, Kimchi, I come to watch your videos to laugh. Huh, I'm not. <laughs> you just put me in a bad mood. <laughs> what the hell? Get out of here. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, man. So how can I be real, dude, at this point, man? But I am getting better. Well, not really better, better, but I am doing better. My friends been really on top of me, you know, playing a lot of games together. That's nice of them. 
but what I want to say is I will be getting better. I will be getting better. I'm going to go back to my doctor, you know, take my first step. But it's so weird, right? Because you're so comfortable being depressed. It's 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 a comforting comforting zone. So it's almost like you always just come back to it. You're just so used to it. It's comforting. Is it that why it's hard to take the first step? because we're leaving our comfort zone. Well, in that case then, you know, enjoy the last days of your depression and be like all right I'm depressed but tomorrow I'm going to set sail out of this comfort zone I've enjoyed my time in this depression boat it's time I set sail But knowing that does, I guess, help help him help me make feel better. It's like you know, at least there's hope. There's hope. That we can control how we feel. just got to be friends with it you know be friends don't make it your enemy make it your friend perfect example could be like Naruto and the nine tails right Naruto nine tails instead of making your enemy make it your best friend when the depression comes and you know just just know it that it's a depression that it's just your friend coming back I guess just hang out with him <laughs> hopefully he gets the hell out of the house <laughs> right it's like hot oh, damn man come into my house depression Always taking my pizza. Stop drinking my beer. Stop looking at my wife. Get out of here. Maybe, maybe we can look at depression like that. You know? And once you finally say goodbye to your depression, then it's celebration. <laughs> That's that's when you do like a goodbye party, pop the champagne, just uh. Uh. guys. Thank you, guys, man. You know it's like. You ever get those you, you know you, you hear those things right it's like 
the, the friends you go through through hard times are your closest ones. Yeah, it's true. Friends who remember the most are the ones that was there for the hard times. going through that pain together you know like ah oh, oh, we got this shit if you feel like that i feel like this screw it toast to that toast to it uh, but yeah i wanted to just make this video as real as possible that uh, I have this, I have that. I'm trying to be like, oh, I'm. This is my authentic 100% real. So. Well, I'm kind of nervous. Not gonna lie. But I tell you one thing though. Is it worth it for me? Yeah, dude. I feel, I feel good, you know, I feel really good, I feel really, really good, thank you. Uh, we'll fight through this, we'll get better. Um, all the Patreon fans, man, I'm sorry that I posted, you know, but I will be opening up the membership after, so I'll just keep you guys updated on that. But just want to let you guys know my bad. Oh, and also, um, I also want to do say one more thing about tofu. Is that living with bipolar is hard, right, for me? But for her to live with a person that has bipolar is not, not easy for her too. But she's been really, really, really patient and strong with me. Honestly, if, if it wasn't for Tofu's help, support, man, I think we have like 850 videos in our channel probably like 300 400 for sure tofu is like the the power and the and the fuel of the energy you know but in order for me to get better i have to work on myself man so that i can be a better boyfriend so that i can make better videos so that i can be a better son and a, and a better friend I have to get better. I won't let you guys down, dude. We will get better. We. Well, okay, that, that was more like for the people that <laughs> that's going through the same thing, you know. And, you know, if you do go through the same thing again, or if, if depression does hit you somewhere near the future, just remember this video. Thanks guys. Um, I'm just gonna take some couple of days off. So thanks guys and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Thanks for listening.